Hi guys, Andrew here from Still Free Films, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to bait, how to use a watermark and watermark your videos in CyberLink PowerDirector 8. Now this will work in any version of CyberLink PowerDirector. So if you have an old version like 6, 5, 4, 2, or 1, this will work in all versions. So basically, put your video that you want to use in the video track. Now this is the watermark that I've made. Drag it down to the PIP track. And then drag it along the length that you want it in your videos. You probably want it for the whole length. Now over here on the screen you'll see this box will pop up. Now you want to basically just adjust the size of your watermark to your personal preference. That's about good. You can make it smaller or bigger. So position it in the screen you want it. Now come down to the PowerP track. You can either double click or click modifier. <coughs> now once we're in here, you click from the second tab here, come down. It'll be passed as transparency keyframe. Now this is what you um use to set the transparency. I like it about eighty, that's my personal preference, but you don't have to have it transparent, but it just makes more sense because you can your the viewers that are viewing your video can actually see through it and see the details in the background or whatever. So just drag along to a personal preference, click OK, and then just produce your video. And then you can upload it straight to YouTube if you want to. So that's how you watermark your videos in Cyberlink Power Director version 8. So that's it. It's really that simple. So if you'd like me to make a video on how to actually make a watermark image with a transparent background in GIMP 2, or basically in any version of GIMP, just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll happily, at your request, make a video. So that's it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for like my videos and thanks again.